Hey, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video and this is just going to be a quick simple look that you can do just to kind of get yourself out the door. So I've already primed my face, primed my eyes and now I've also done my eyebrows and all we're going to do is now start the foundation routine. This is a very simple look to just like be ready to go out the door. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm going to be using the True Match Lumi um, Cushion Foundation in shade W5.5. And I'm using my e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray. And I'm going to be using my um, Age Rewind in the shade Neutral and or Natural. Yeah, Neutral. And this is going to be for my concealer. And just so you know, I did use the Revlon Photo Ready, um, I think it's, color correcting primer. I just picked it up yesterday, so it's my second time using it. So it does kind of give me a little like white shell over my face. Um, so I'm going to be using this, and I'm going to be using this um, as a pale blush. It's going to be like my eye setting um, primer that I'm going to use, and I'm going to apply that right now to my eyes. And you can just wear this by itself, or you can go ahead and wear it um, you know, underneath some eyeshadow. So I'm just going to show you guys a quick look. You just apply this. Then you just like apply it with your finger. The reason I use my finger is to kind of melt it in because, you know, my fingers are warm. Um, no, I'm not opening the bubbles. Hi, sorry. Welcome back. Um, so I'm going to be using this NYC palette. Um, I decided I'm going to use a little bit of colors. So I'm going to use this pink shade. I've already applied it on one eye. I'm going to apply it on the other side. I'm going to do a smoky eye, but I'll do it separate so you guys can see what this quick look could be. So I haven't put on my foundation yet. I'm going to do that after I put this on and do my eyes just so I can show you guys. Because um, I do want this to kind of set. All right, so I ended up using my e.l.f. Um, like a C brush, eyeshadow brush. Then I'm going to use this other e.l.f. It's more of a fluffier brush. And I'm going to use this dark shade right here. And I'm just going to use it almost like as a transition shade. And you're going to see this real simple eye look, okay? Just because this does look kind of white. it across the lid and into the bone. My son just finished his therapy session, so he's a little like winding down, so he's a little fussy. What do you need? Need a hug? A what? What do you need? You have to say it. Yeah, you gotta say it. Yeah. So you put it across the lid like this. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much, this is the eye look. Okay. So because I am using this Lumi foundation, I am gonna spray my face first. Let me go see what he wants because he's walking around like he's looking for something and I'm going to be right back. He's playing with pens at the desk. He wanted me to get the pens. Alright, so now I'm going to use my concealer. I'm going to use it now under my eyes. Let 
Misa que se pica. Miss Maya. Did you go under? Just tap it in. The reason I use this underneath is because that cushion foundation, you have to kind of let it dry and it doesn't, it's so lightweight, I don't want to have something I'm putting on on top. So you open it up, and then just apply. So I was reading in a magazine exactly how it's put on. So it's one layer, like one tap, one layer, then two, it's like a medium coverage. Um, so sheer is one tap. If you do two coats, it's like um, a medium coverage, and if you do three, it's a full coverage. Um, I think for this shade for me, um, a medium coverage works just fine. This one has a TV on so loud. Oh he puts the TV on so loud, like, because he needs to hear it from other parts of the house. He needs, he's one of those people who needs background noise at all times. Even though he's not watching it, he needs the background noise. He has this Thomas train book. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is pretty much the finished look. If you wanted to like kind of walk out the door, I'm just going to finish applying to cover everything up. Sure. All right, let me let this dry. I'm going to come back and then we're going to put on the powder, okay? So one minute. All right, guys, so now I'm going to be using my True Match in um, W7, just kind of a sheer coating over the Lumi foundation. So this is pretty much the finished look. Just put on some mascara and you're good to go. If you wanted to end it like this, you could. And this is just a very simple day look. You can add a little bit of eyeliner. Me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke this out and show you guys how you can now build on from this look right here. So I'm going to take the same palette right here and I'm going to take this dark shade right here and I'm going to build it up. But before I do that, I am going to use the concealer that's or the, I think it's a primer. I'm not sure. I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it on the lid so I can pick up more of the color. Okay? So just put that on the lid where I want the color to be more intense. And that's also going to help decrease some fallout. Do that to both eyes. I love this palette. I haven't used this palette at all. I had the old one that didn't come with the primer. And it's an amazing palette. I love the color. I love that smoky eye that I get from it. And I am going to use... Actually, I'm actually going to take this brush here, the one I just used. I'm going to take that, take the dark color, that plum color. And then I'm going to tap on the product onto where I just put the concealer. And this is going to help me smoke it out as well.
for the other eye. I'm going to finish up this eye and then I'm going to be right back. Alright, so you see now I have kind of brought up the color all the way around across the lid like this. Really packed in the color. So what I'm going to do to kind of transition it going up, I could fluff it out. I do want to kind of give it the little brownish look. So I do want to use this color here in this palette, this color right here. Just gonna take this little contour eyeshadow brush and just bring it in right into that crease area. I think this color looks really good with this plum color, just to kind of warm up the look a little bit. Take the plum color again put it on top and just kind of buff everything together and now I'm starting to blend the color up grab a little more and just keep blending up do the same thing to the other eye And I'm sticking the focus under the brow bone mostly and now I'm going to take a blending brush using the elf blending brush and I'm just going to blend all of this out upwards like above the bone kind of hitting the bone with the color and just keep blending until it looks really buff. The same thing to the other eye. I will um, also be um, adding a little bit more of the plum at the at the base to kind of keep the intensity up. Okay. And this look I like to do during the daytime because it's a really nice, um, like smoky eye for the daytime. A little bit more of that primer just tap in that color not buffing or anything just tap it in do the same thing to the other eye In the product. You want to keep it as close to the bottom of the lid as possible. Just make sure that it's in there. Blend it in so there's no harsh line. Blender, make sure. Keeping it up here. Let me clean up some of the fallout and I'm going to be back. Alright guys, so to clean it up, I used the Dulce de Leche. I used the lighter shade right here just to help clean up this face. And I used this stipple brush here and just put in some product. I'm just letting it kind of bake a little bit. And now I'm just going to keep wiping. Not like swoosh wipe, but just tapping, you know, almost tapping the product in as I wipe. The same thing to the other eye because you want it to be kind of um, light because your eyes could look dark when you use these plum colors. One more cereal. 
didn't need a lot of cereal. I just had a bowl of cereal. So now, take a little bit of the plum color, to put it underneath the eye. Just gonna use a wet and wild brown pencil. And there we go. Then I'm gonna take the ice measure. This is the Elf ice measure. I'm just going to smudge it out. And then I'm going to take this light color right here, and I'm just going to pop it right in this little corner here. You could end here and you can also do an eyeliner. I think I'm going to do the gel eyeliner and I'm going to get it and be right back. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I did the mascara. I ended up using two mascaras. I used the Sensational Lash. Make sure I read it on the right side. Um, the Full Fan Effect. I used this one. You want the jar? Oh my god. My son just grabbed this jar of M&M's. Let's put a couple of M&M's inside. Here you go. Stick your top. All right. Sorry. The Fan Effect um, Mascara from Maybelline and then the Plump Up Mascara. And this is how it looks at the end. I love the way this mascara looks when you use them together. Because one fans them out, the other one pushes them up. I prefer the push up one more. Um, I also used my highlight just for the concept of time. I used the Tantastic and I just ended up using this little brush here and just putting a little bit like that down the middle and over here. And then what I used for my blush was my e.l.f. quad and in the light palette. And I use this shade here. It's a dark brownish shade. And I use my e.l.f. Um, blush brush that's at an angle. And I just mix that in. All right. Now you see how this color like blends right in. So this is a nice day smoky eye that you can just build up from that first look. Okay. And then I am going to use these two colors here. So I'm going to have kind of a nude lip, but with a plum effect. So I'm going to use the shade plum from Milani in this one and in the shade baby lips. I did a look with this recently. It's just running out. So I just figured let's just get rid of it. So I'm going to line my lip with this. line it and just keep lining it I have a little bit of the lip gloss left so 
it's not like it's a little hard to get the color to stay on All right, and that's good. Take the baby lips. It's from e.l.f. Just crank it up. It has a little sponge. The product comes out and just apply. You just want to blend it. It's a really creamy lipstick gloss. So it creates kind of like a little ombre lip a little bit because it blends in but it creates like a different pink look, which I like. My hair is like a little frizzy from my roots. So basically, this is the finished look. Before we finish, we're gonna spray. So this is the finished look. Sorry, my hair is like... All right. Can you give me the m &Ms? Okay. So this is a nice look so you can just go start your day. You can do it during the day. You can pump it up during the evening. I actually like this during the daytime. Um, it's not too made up. And I will probably use some, a lipstick that will last longer throughout the day. Just so I don't have to keep reapplying. It is really moisturizing. So I'll probably do like a matte lip. Um, and then throw this gloss on top just to kind of moisturize. But this is pretty much the finished look. This is how I would just kind of wrap it up at this point from that other look if I was just kind of like brushing out the door. Um, and then this is just the look a little bit more intensified. So I'm just going to try to get closer so you guys can see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and enjoyed getting ready with me and the two looks that I did for you guys. So I will leave you guys with that. So I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you like these looks and what other looks you might want to see. Um, and don't forget to share this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.